Hey everyone, Michael Durr here with PhotoPXL.com, and today I'm going to talk about the Insta360 ONE X2. This isn't a new camera, but I've had it for quite a while now, and I actually want to talk about how I've integrated it into my professional workflow. This video is really primarily to show you some of the applications of 360 video, and whether you're using the ONE X2, or maybe a different Insta360, or even another brand of 360 camera, the concept of utilizing 360 footage in ways to enhance your production value, your offerings, your creativity. Those are really the kind of things that I wanna share with you today. First off, I started dabbling in 360 video many years ago when I worked with Case Construction. We were looking at ways to record in-cab videos that would allow us to see the operator's viewpoint and also provide us with an angle where we could see the operator and the machine controls. I have worked with the Insta360 ONE X and the Insta360 R, but the ONE X2 really made a leap in usability for me and it has become a valuable tool in my kit. So we're living in a time when you're hired as a photographer or a videographer to do a project. You might also be asked to do some behind the scenes footage. So having the ability to set up a 360 camera, literally forget about it, and then go in later and reframe shots to pull out for Instagram or any of the social platforms is really a great benefit. Recently, I was hired to capture a number of dinners as part of a dinner series here in Indianapolis. I was tasked with capturing footage of these events that required me to float between the dining room, kitchen, and a prep area. Since I obviously couldn't be in all places at once, it was great to rely on the 360 camera to capture some time-lapse sequences that I could use in my final videos. The big benefit was I could put the camera in the center of the prepping location, let it record for the entire duration of the dinner prep, and then using the mobile app, I can go in later and frame up the action. All it required in the moment was setting it up, hitting record, and hoping that it didn't get knocked over. Since you don't have to think about it, it allows you to stay focused on your primary objective, whatever that may be. I've also used the camera to capture my kids or other fun family activities, and it challenges you to think differently about how to utilize it. So I'm here near Asheville, North Carolina. We're on this awesome hike. Came all the way back down, it started raining, so we were in a rush and I left my bag. So now I gotta go back and get it. One of the things I really like most about the 360 camera is the flexibility it has. I've used a variety of mounts. This is probably the one I use the most. It's the standard selfie stick, which is a small tripod. This is a little mount that I actually can mount to the top of my camera. One of my favorite ones is the bullet time effect. So you mount the camera to the end of this cord and you actually swing it around you. And it works best when there's actually something in the air, for example, bubbles or water or snow would be another good example. This is a buddy of mine. He actually took the Insta360 with the bullet time selfie stick and it was out on Lake Michigan in Chicago out by Adler Planetarium. I've actually used the Cotton Carrier G3 harness and this comes with a proprietary mount but I actually put that mount on the end of the selfie stick. So the 360 camera actually came right out of my chest and I was able to pick my kids up and swing them around. One last mounting option that I don't have here with me, I actually have a clamp that I've used and I clamped it to the back of our e-bike and I was able to extend out the standard selfie stick, attach it to that mount and actually have it kind of floating behind our bike. A few things to note, it's built very well. The battery life is much better than the previous generation. It looks, feels great. It's waterproof. There's been several firmware upgrades and Insta360 continues to add features to it. One thing I will mention is I always use the rubber hood to put over the lenses when the camera's not in use. If you do just kind of lay this camera down, there's not really a great way to lay it down and not have it lay on one of the lenses. So do be aware of that and be cognizant of covering your lenses when it's not in use. I typically use the standard shooting modes the most, both in photo and in video. I've done about 95% of the editing of these 360 photos and videos right on my mobile device. One drawback was transferring the data to my phone over the Wi-Fi connection. It took a while, it drained the battery in both my phone and the device. However, I recently discovered that Insta360 has released a new accessory for the camera that allows you to transfer footage immediately to your phone and do any editing in real time. I have yet to try this accessory myself, but it sounds like something that would greatly improve my workflow. Let's take a really quick look at the editing platform here on the mobile device. As you can see, I have a photo here. This is just a still image from the top of a grain silo. 
You can easily change your perspective. You can export the reframed images directly to your phone and share them on social media. There's a multitude of ways to reframe your photos and tons of options on how to easily do panoramas and things of that nature. You could even do some light editing inside the app itself. So I'm really not gonna go into the specific details on how to use the editing platform within the app. Insta360 themselves have a ton of tutorial videos right here in the app that show you how to utilize it. This is an example of a hyperlapse video we did at a brewery here in Indianapolis, and they were really happy with how the video came together and how they were able to share it on their social platform. Simplicity, flexibility, and creativity is what the 360 camera has provided me in my productions. Whether you're a photographer or a videographer, think about the 360 camera as an option to do some behind the scenes footage or maybe even integrate into your professional workflows. Try utilizing any of the cameras in the Insta360 lineup and simply have some fun with it. I wanna thank the Cohatch community for allowing us to shoot here today in their Broad Ripple location. And as always, visit us online at photopxl.com where we're working every day to enhance your vision. See you in the next one.